The Sudanese military had requested a period of three to six months to continue its discussions with protesters and opposition groups. It says these talks aim to hammer out an agreement on the transition to civilian rule. On Tuesday, African leaders agreed to give the military council more time. We have stressed the importance of continuing dialogue with all Sudanese parties. We call on all Sudanese authorities to continue their constructive engagement with the African Union and its commission. But on Sunday, opposition coalition leaders suspended negotiations with the military council and urged protesters to intensify nationwide demonstrations. The army says it's trying to find a middle ground. The establishment of a civilian government requires patriotic commitment from everyone involved. The country's future depends on support from all parties. And we're optimistic that the Sudanese people will reach a consensus on a political resolution. Protesters are adamant they will not accept any proposal that leaves ultimate power in the hands of the military. For their part, African leaders have appealed to the international community to support Sudan in its shift to democracy. Philip Oweira, TRT World. Ahmed Kamalo is a journalist in London. He says the military council in Sudan is trying to strengthen its hold on power. I don't. I think this is a game of chess. And the military regime, the military council, is trying to hold on to power as long as possible so that people become used to the idea of a military council. Now, on the one hand, I'm happy to see the African Union taking a leadership role. And I think if we think back to Gambia, it was the West African states that were instrumental in providing pressure on President Jama to step down. But when we look at the African Union, we look at the President of the African Union, Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of Egypt. He's not impartial. He came into power himself in a military junta. His last presidential election, he got 97% of the vote. And he doesn't want to see a bad example set. Now, if the Sudanese people can reach a full democracy, then why will the young people of Egypt not try to do the same? So it's within his own strategic military interest to see the military council remain in power. And I think there's no legitimate reason that anyone can provide why the 15-day the deadline has been extended to three months, unless you're thinking about maintaining the military council and maintaining the military regime.